Welcome to this intro to Khan Academy and Flipped Learning by the Mary F. English Program. Khan Academy was founded in 2006 by Salman Khan. It's a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to providing a high quality education for anyone anywhere in the world. The website khanacademy.org has over 3,900 free video lessons on a wide variety of school subjects. Many of these lessons also come with interactive practice problems and quizzes and Khan Academy is at the forefront of what is known as the flipped learning movement. In a traditional classroom, a lecture is provided by the teacher in class, and then the students are supposed to go home and practice those problems as homework. In a flipped classroom, that lecture is watched on video at home the day before class, and then when students come to class the next day, they are expected to practice the problems under the supervision of the teacher. The goal of this is to allow teachers to have more time to practice problems with the students and give them more individualized attention. Also, many students have reported that they prefer learning in this format since they are able to rewind the videos to go over parts they didn't understand the first time. So you can flip your classroom by creating all of these videos yourself, or you can draw off existing resources like Khan Academy, which offers very well produced lessons on a vast array of subjects, totally free of charge. To get started, let's navigate to khanacademy.org. And the website looks like this. Under the Learn tab, you can see all the different subjects offered. There's math, science and economics, computer science, humanities, and test prep. The math section is the most developed. Almost everything you could ask for K through 12 can be found here, so math teachers are especially lucky, but there's over 3,900 videos, so there's many options. You may also want to check out the Talks and Interviews, which has over a hundred conversations by Salman Khan explaining the goals of Khan Academy and the future of education. The Knowledge Map is an interesting way to browse the site. You can see all the math videos and lessons on the site in order from you know easiest to most difficult and it works like a map where if you zoom in you can see each of the individualized lessons that will take you from one step to the next. Clicking any of these buttons will take you to the lesson. But the traditional way to navigate the site is go to learn and then pick the subject you want to study and all the relevant videos that have been created will be displayed below in different topics. In this case the points, lines, and planes has six videos and six interactive lessons with practice problems. So that's what the video and star symbols mean. Click the topic and you'll see each of the individual videos by their title and the title of the lessons within that topic. And Khan Academy videos will look like this. Most of these are narrated by Sal himself, and the videos have an iconic, clear, and colorful way of explaining things. Another great way to use the site is to just type in the subject area that you'd like to learn about. and any videos relating to that topic will pop up right away. So if you're a teacher, I highly recommend you browse the website and see what videos are available that explain the content you're covering in class. And it'd be great to link your students to these videos before you cover them in class or as a supplemental study aid. I'm sure many parents would appreciate at the beginning of a week receiving an, an email that would have some of these educational videos included so they can see what their kids are learning and know some good resources they can direct them to to help them with their studies. One more thing, Khan Academy has some login functionalities which will allow you to do some of the interactive uh, projects on the site and get feedback as you go. There's a point system that 
you earn energy points, so students, the more they use the site and the more they practice it, uh, the, the higher a score they can earn. There's also a badge system where for different lessons you can receive badges, which are a nice little incentive to focus. There's different graphs of your data. Well, here's the badge system. Here's a goal tracking system. It'll show you how your activity has been over time, what subjects you focused on, how your skills have progressed. Progress over time, discussion, and a coaches functionality, which will let you become a coach for your students if they sign up for an account and they add you as a coach. And this will let you be able to see their activity, their focus, and their progress over time so you can see how they're doing and intervene on subject areas that they need help with. And that about does it for KhanAcademy.org. It's a very easy to use site and it has a lot of great free content that you could start sharing with your students today. If the site doesn't have video lessons on what you're looking for, you can produce your own in the same style as Khan Academy by using the same tools that Salman Khan uses to create his. He uses a Camtasia recorder, which costs about $200. It's a piece of software used for recording screencasts. A Wacom bamboo tablet for $80. That's what he uses to draw on screen. And the drawing program he uses if you're using a PC, you can use Smooth Draw 3, or if you're on a Mac, you can use Sketchbook Express. Or if you want to start making videos totally for free, you can use Screencast O Matic, Microsoft Paint, and your mouse. To learn how to get started making screencasts today, check out the Mary F. English Program's Screencast O Matic tutorial. Thanks for watching.